Hi guys, this is Barwa Town and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle video. So, for this video, what I wanted to do is carry on the series where we were going through older Super Battle Road stages, especially with anticipation growing that Global are going to get a new batch when part two of the current Kid Gohan celebration comes out. So, I thought we'd keep going through the original Super Battle Roads uh, and then we'll make a start on the Extreme Battle Roads as well. If you watched my last video on Super Battle Roads, not including the giant 4-on-1 because that was kind of a standalone treat, um, the last part of this series we did, we went through number 11 and number 12. So that was Super Class and Extreme Class only. What I'll be planning to do for this video is go through the next two, maybe three, we'll see how we're doing for time. Um, and these are firstly number 13, Fusion. And number 14, Shadow Dragon Saga. So both teams have had a lot of buffs since they came out. I remember Fusion used to be horrible to try and get done. Literally, if you didn't have the physical Gogeta, you, you weren't getting it done. Um, especially now, we've got the same name update as well. So you can run units like STR Gogeta and Int Gogeta in the same team. Um, but yeah, let's see how we do. I, sh I don't anticipate too many problems, to be honest. But, for example, if you're a newer, newer player, for example, you might appreciate that you might not have all of these units easy aid, or you might have missed um, five-year Gogeta or someone like that. So it's always good to go back through these. Um, you're not the fusion lead. If anything, I think we will take um, this Gogeta as a friend. But you can see the team that I last beat this with. I had Super Saiyan 4 Tech Gogeta as, like, just in the team. Like, I had him as my leader. I didn't have the Gogeta when I first cleared this. I don't think I've cleared, I've done it at all since. Like, I've got Weirus in the team. <laughs> and I cleared it. So I'm not anticipating too many problems. Um, let's go in and have a look. Remove. Let's go by Fusion. So what... I'll be bringing both these guys, but what are their leader skills? So the Fusion Gogeta... Um, fusion, key plus three, HP. Um, but going back to the leader skill here, um, I've got a fusion category here for LR, Goku and Vegeta, which fusion to Gogeta. Fusion category, key plus three, HP and attack plus 170 and defense plus 130. So not the best leader skill there. Um, I mean, it's decent, but defense plus 130, I suppose it's not going to make too much difference in this event. Um, the HP and attack will probably come in handy, which will be blasting people away. Uh, what's the five-year Gogeta? So five-year Gogeta, HP, attack, and defense, all 150. So probably go with him, to be honest. Um, okay... We'll bring that Gogeta, we'll bring in Easy A Gogeta. There's just so many Easy A units now. Uh, I have to bring Super Saiyan 4 um, in Gogeta. Uh, I think this Gotenks in Ghost will be really good as well, for those of you that haven't Easy A'd him. He is a completely free-to-play unit, so I really encourage you guys to go out and get him done. Um, I need to get his Super Attack level farmed up from the looks of things. Um, but at least it's Halloween around the corner, so his event will be coming out. And, um, yeah, I can get him from 10 to 15, but he'll do the job here. Um, so his super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and he's got a 50% chance of stunning. So he's going to be a really good unit on this team. Um, should I bring Weirus just for the meme? <laughs> Probably not. Um, in terms of damage, I could bring this Gotenks, but he takes a couple of turns to get to his best. This Gogeta... He, he's still good. I think he's a problem, maybe a little bit outdated now. He's been out for a while. Um, I think I'll bring one of the newer EZAs. I think I'll bring Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I could have bought um, Super Saiyan Gogeta from the Broly movie even. But again, he's a bit outdated and he's not at his best turn one. Whereas this Gotenks, he's at his best turn one and then slowly gets worse, I think. Attack and defense plus 150 plus an additional attack plus 70, defense plus 30. And medium chance of evading enemies attack for seven turns. So yeah, he's at his best early on. And then after seven turns, he does fade away a bit. Oh no, I've gone off it. Got to love a misclick. Uh, 
hour. It won't take us long to pick the team again. As you can see, by scrolling down, we've got a fair few stages to go through. I'm looking forward to going through them. I say it's really weird looking at this fusion one and being like, I haven't done this in so long. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six. Done. Okay, in terms of items, you don't really need items. Well, I, I don't think I'll need items for this run. But these are my typical Super Battle Road items. If you haven't done this or you do struggle with this content or you struggle knowing what items to bring, these are the items that I tend to bring on most difficult content. You've got two healers and two damage reducers as well. Um, support memory, I'll just leave blank. I don't think I need a support memory. I wouldn't want to use up the film. And yeah, let's just jump in. So again, now that we've moved away from type Super Battle Road and we're getting into category Super Battle Road, the number of enemies drops from four, or number of stages drops from four to three, but the difficulty does ramp up a bit. Okay, so if we do this to start off with, in fact, I'll probably float my Gogeta off because my Gogeta is not rainbowed, unlike the friend. But by putting this Gogeta in slot three, um, he does gain additional benefits. So, when he's in slot 3, he gains high chance of evading enemy super attack. So, just by having him in slot 3, he's getting that dodge chance. Whereas, having him in slot 1, you're not really going to get that. If anything, where there's so many attacks in that first slot, I think I will just put Int Gogeta there. I know that I'm going to have two Gogetas now at the back of the, ro uh, back of the rotation, not linking. But they're not taking too many hits, whereas the Int Gogeta will have type advantage. And I can get him a few rainbow orbs as well. So I believe one gives him dodge chance and a second gives him attack and defense boost. So he's effective against all types anyway. Attack and defense plus 120 with a medium chance of evading the enemy's attack with one rainbow. Additional attack plus 40 with two rainbows. And then a high chance of critting with three rainbows. Okay. Yep, let's give him these and we'll give this one these. So at the very least, I'm quite happy that Spopovich is going to be out. out. Uh, it's just whether we can get some damage into Yamu as well. Yeah, so I was expecting more damage, to be honest, with type advantage, and considering it's kind of a super easy aid, super Gogeta. I was expecting more damage there. Um, it's, yeah, it's been so long since I've gone through these stages that I forget how much health and how much damage they actually do. Like, Gogeta will take some good damage here from a normal... Yeah, 50k. Like, it's a lot of damage. See if we can get some of the dodges here as well. One. Uh, I'll take that. So he still took 66k. So if we didn't get that dodge in, we would have taken 130k just in normals in that last slot. It's a lot of damage. Um, in terms of our rotations here, Gotenks and Ghosts not looking the best defensively. What's their passive out of curiosity? Um, Rainbow Key Changer. Attack and defense plus 7% per key split. So they'll get more attack and defense when I pick up orbs. And they recover HP and attack and defense plus 30 per rainbow keys fit. So we want to give them rainbow. So we can give them what? We won't put them slot one. We'll put, we'll put Gogeta there. Um, so what defense is he on? 31,000 there. If we... We'll target Yamu just because Yamu's got um, full health. So we'll try and get the stun on him. What's his attack and defense looking like if we give him four rainbow keys fits? It trebles, pretty much. Goes up to 92k. That's a pretty impressive improvement there. I'll take that. And then we'll get all these physical key spheres with um, with fusing Gogeta. Hopefully we can get the Int Gogeta's um, dodge and counter mechanic in. I think we have. No. Well, it's a 70% chance and we didn't hit it. It's alright, we'll just make Spopovich pay. See if we can get a stun off here. Okay. 
Okay. No stun. Not the end of the world. Obviously would have preferred it though. And this should be the end of Spopovich now. Then it's just Yamu to focus on. Extreme Super Battle Road with the Fusion team is tough. Like, you haven't really got any good defenders in this team. Like, you've got units like Gogeta that can dodge supers and things like that. But you haven't really got anyone that's going to rock up with two or 300k defense and just take nothing. Um, again, we'll put Gogeta there. We're getting two Rainbow Key Spheres again. So he's going to have 50% chance to dodge and he's going to have an extra 40% attack. Um, in terms of this Gogeta, I think I want to keep the STR Gogetas in slot 3. As I say, you get your best from them, especially in Super Battle Road, when they're getting that extra 50% chance to dodge. Um, probably should have picked the STR up, orbs up with Gogeta there, but oh well. It wouldn't have been too much healing. He doesn't have a massive amount of defense. Wow, yeah, you can tell Spopovich was the stronger one, because when we attacked Spopovich with that similar attack in the first turn, it did like a quarter of his health, but we just nearly wiped Yamu out with that. Uh, three million attack stat from this easy Ego tanks as well, so I think I made the right choice bringing him over some of the other uh, older Gogetas. So that's taken a while there, just to do this, the first stage. Let's, let's move on to the second one. This should be Babidi and Boo. No, Babidi and all the henchmen. So I would have thought Deborah would be the strongest here. If we do this, are any of them tech? No. I think we'll kill who we can try and kill. So if we go for Babidi there, we'll give... We can give Gotenks four Rainbow Key Switches. We could give them five, but obviously the game doesn't want to work that way. Um... We can give him four. I think we'll try and stun Deborah. And then if we go back and just try and finish off Babidi. I don't know about any damage reduction here. I think we'll go without it because Gogeta will be okay. And he's got the chance to dodge if there's super attacks and things like that. Gotenks. He, he'll take a bit of damage from normals. I think we'll go with it. We've, we've got a fair amount of health. So Gogeta's taking 50k from a normal. I think I should have done a damage reduction item. How much damage is this going to do to Babidi? An okay amount. Not massive. I don't think he's dodged again. Damn. He's not dodging supers at all for us. He's dodging normals. We would have been dead there if we didn't get a super attack with Gogeta because he gets a greatly raised defense in there from his super. So that, that was quite critical for us. And we, at least we got a stun on Deborah. I think Deborah will be the strongest one. Skulking, uh, Skulls, Gogeta, you need to counter. Completely agree. He's been super attacked twice so far in this stream and hasn't dodged at all. He's going to get me killed. <laughs> Um, dog help desk Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Go <laughs> Yeah I, I, I just want to see the animation as well The dog, the counter animation is so good um, But the STR Gogetas are doing all the dodging for me They're smashing it in the, in the last slot So looking at it here I, th I think I probably need to use items here Um I think after this turn, we're going to do a reasonable amount of damage to a few different people. So I'm happy to go with the Princess Snake for now. Remember, Deborah is stunned. So that's less attacks that I'm going to receive. I'm pretty sure we can take out um, Babidi. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably make a start on Yakon. Yeah, because he's attacking Gotenks at the end. If we make a start on Yakon, because he's su this Gogeta is super effective against all types. If we put this... Gogeta to, to attack Babidi, so he's got type advantage. And from the looks of things, I'll be missing a super with Gotenks, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. We'll, we'll put it on Babidi just in case. Uh, Skulking Skulls, like Gogeta, 5% dodge to normal, but can't 70% counter a super. 
It's so. This is literally what he did in the first stage as well. It's so annoying. He, he dodges the do- the attack that's going to do double digits, but doesn't dodge the one that's going to do two hundred k. But it is what it is. It's just RNG, isn't it? How have you been anyway, Skulking Skulls? Uh, I think I caught up with you sometime at the end of the last week. Do you have a good weekend? Okay, probably going to regret it, but we'll go with Gogeta slot one again. We'll see how this does. Um, after seeing how much damage some of the units have taken, I think I will pop a damage reduction item. We'll, we'll pop the Icarus. Um, we can get a bit of healing here from Gogeta, I think. Let's just make sure Yakon's dead, I think. And we'll try and go for the stun again on uh, on Deborah. That'll be alright. And we can get a decent attack in with Gogeta. So I'm hoping Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta kills Yakon. But if not, um, base Gogeta will be able to go do it. Skulking Skulls. Yeah, it was an alright weekend. I'm saving up for Tech Gogeta. Yeah, you hyped. Have you seen the videos um, that he's apparently... Uh, it's been leaked that he's coming out for us in November. So that'll be straight after this celebration then. And there may be heroes at the end of November. No stun again. So I'm glad we used the damage reduction item now then, because Go take takes just 157k, and that's with a damage reduction item active. Dog help desk. Oh, we just got V jump links too for Halloween unit. I haven't seen them. What's the Halloween unit? I haven't actually seen it. Skulking Skulls. Yeah, I've got some stones right now, but in November, I think I'll be pretty happy. Yeah, you've been, I suppose you've been saving up. Um, no, fair play. I think I, I've been quite good because I pulled the Gohan and um, Garlic quite early on, so I didn't need to spend crazy stones. Um, I'll probably do one or two for the Goku and Piccolo just off on the off chance I get them. So I, I'll be quite healthy for Gogeta as well. But I'm glad that you've got a bit more time to save. Uh, dog help desk. It's an Aether that awakens into an Aether and 17. Oh, that's a sick unit. That's a, that's such a good idea for a unit. Was it last year where it was, um, Grandpa Gohan and Pan? Was that Halloween unit last year? Uh, Skulking Skulls, yeah, I multi-owned, uh, Gohan, Zeno. You got the Zeno animation as well? Yeah, same here. It was only my second Zeno, so fair play. Uh, Zeno is always, I, th I feel like it's, what do you harder to get, a Zeno or a Whis? Uh, dog help desk, it's very strange to say the least. Also, easy A's for prime battle trunks. That's a, that's massive. And future 17 and 18. That, that's massive easy A's. They're going to be so good. It sounds like there's going to be a lot of stones coming our way as well. Um, let's try and... I'm hoping that we've managed to get De Boer out of there. Um, Paragon till death. Wow, unexpected for sure. Yeah, I wasn't expecting all that just for a Halloween celebration. Um, Skulking Skulls. My first Zeno was actually on Videl's banner. I mean, if you're going to pick a banner to get your first Zeno on, the v Videl one's not the worst. I mean, she... I think she's the, still the best TUR out on Global. She's not maybe the most useful in terms of how much you can use her, but she's definitely one of the best units. So great banner to choose getting your first Zeno one. Skulking Skulls, the free-to-play 17 and 18. The stackers or the LRs? I'd have thought the free-to-play ones because they really need it, don't they? They're, they're really lacking. Uh, dog help desk. The stackers, the Tech 17 and STR 18. Oh, yeah, I know the ones you mean. They're going to be quite good. A any stacking unit gets their easy A. They, they normally become quite good. Uh, all right, well, let's get Gogeta's animation then. Still haven't seen the dodge animation, though. Uh, they should be pretty impressive after easy A. Yeah, I reckon those stackers would be... Those androids would be really good after easy A. And it's a good buff for the team. The androids teams become a bit... Stale. I don't see anyone run it, and 
it just honestly, it needs a lot of buffs to become useful again. They haven't really done any improvements on it for ages, other than maybe, what, the Super 17 LR? Um, Paragon Till Death, nice easy A, stackers will be sick. Yeah, completely agree. Roll on Super Dragon Ball Heroes banner. Oh, 100%. I'm not sure when that's going to drop now. I assume it's going to be kind of the end of November that that drops now. It, especially if um, Gogeta's been confirmed for coming straight after this current celebration. And bear in mind, they'll have to try and fit in the part two for Gogeta, which is the LR Janemba as well. So we're going to be getting a lot of content in a short period of time. Um, Skulking Skulls. On Global, yes, but JP, STR, Super Vegeta and Videl are really close. But I'd edge out for Super Saiyan Vegeta because of the pure Saiyan leader. Yeah, I, I'd agree with your logic there, to be honest. Um, the, the Vegeta's just going to be so much more usable. And even if it's just the pure Saiyan lead, it's also the categories and things that the Vegeta's on. You're just going to use him a lot more. Uh, Paragon till death. Surely end of November, yeah? I'd like to think so. It's just when... So bear in mind for this, we've still got part two of our current celebration to come. So, assuming that ends kind of, what, beginning of November, then you're going to have, what, two or three weeks to fit in a part one and part two of the Gogeta and Janemba banners before squeezing in um, heroes at the end of November. So, there's going to be so much content. I'm looking forward to it, though. It's going to be a great time for Token. Um, this feels familiar. This is the same rotation we started um, the game on. Um, again, we'll go with Gogeta. We'll go for a Princess Snake. So, this is the last stage here. So I've, I know that I've got a fair few items and we've got a Doken attack coming. Um, we can get Gogeta a Rainbow Sphere, so he's got a chance to dodge. Um, he's also super effective against all types, so everyone on this rotation is super effective against Fat Boo. So let's just make sure he's dead. I probably should have done tried to get the super attack with a uh, Super Gogeta to make sure we get this super effective against all types, against all the enemies. Uh, let me just scroll up a bit on chat. Uh, dog help desk. I'm just unsure about the 17 and 80 unit. I feel they may be... Ah, oh, wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Trying to multitask doesn't work. Um, I'm unsure about the 17 and 80 unit. I feel they'll be on a few teams. On so few teams. Well, yeah. I mean, they wouldn't be on... Would, would you reckon they'll class as siblings bond? I don't, I don't think so. So maybe androids join forces. But they're definitely going to be worth doing. Because even the Gohan and Pan, you needed them to get one of the um, Prime Battle Easy A's done. So it's definitely going to be worth getting them just for, just for being able to help you with that. Paragon till death. Yeah, artificial life forms and join forces. Yeah, I mean, there'll be androids as well, I suppose. Because 8 is Android 8, isn't he? So there'll be androids as well. Um, he's ju also just a monster. You guarantee crit, so you don't need crits at all. This is back to the STR Vegeta that's coming out. With Videl, you can still put additionals in, but with Vegeta, you can focus on additional, and that helps. Yeah, it's crazy good, isn't it? Like you can, like you not, you don't even need to really give the Vegeta that much dodge. You can just go all additional with him, um, and he's just going to destroy any stage you put him in front of. He's not going to be the best at taking a hit. He's not going to be terrible by all means, but. That's probably his weak spot. Um, what do we want to do here? So we can take out, we can take out Fat Boo here. We should still. No, so we don't have any. We'll use Nicarus just to make sure we're not taking damage. What are the odds? So we're taking four attacks in that first slot. What are the odds? One of them's a super, and Gogeta does not dodge and counter it. Guarantee. Um, let's try and stun Boo. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the stun on Kid Boo. And just on the off chance Fat Boo isn't dead, we'll we'll target him with this Gogeta. So Fat Boo definitely dead this turn. Hopefully we can get the stun off on Kid Boo. Ah yes, I think we got dodging. There we go. Finally. Oh, I love that animation. <laughs> wow, chat's popping off. Let me try and catch up. Um Dog help desk. If we're really lucky, Majin Buu Saga 2, if they mean when they were giving energy to Goku for the spirit bomb. What have I missed? Yeah, maybe. 
so that's in reference to what category um, the 8 and 17 joint forces unit would be on. Um, that they could be kind of help us with that. I don't. Even th I don't think there is an Android unit on the Mudge and Boo Saga team at the moment, so it could be an interesting addition to it. If he supers, he tanks hard. He can tank. So that's again back to Super Vegeta. If he supers, he tanks hard. Um, yeah, I can imagine. He's just going to be such a, a good all-round unit. I just can't wait. What's his secondary leader skill? It's um, is it attained evolution? Is that Vegeta? Okay, so we got the stun off on Kid Boo, so I'm, I'm pretty comfortable now. I think we can just go ham. Okay. And so we'll get a lot of damage here on Kid Boo. Yeah, we counter. We finally got the counter for Gogeta. It took, it's taken best part of 25 minutes to get it. Um, bit slapped by eyes. <laughs> That's such a good moment, though, from the anime, and they've done it such justice in the on the animations. It's definitely one of my favourite animations in the game, and it's only like two seconds long. Paragon till death, Gogeta giving if looks could kill a literal interpretation. <laughs> I like that. Uh, skulking skulls. I'm pretty sure the STR EZA Android 18 is Boo Saga. Is he actually? Feel free to check that for me. I, I didn't know. I didn't think there was any androids from Busaka. It'd be great if he is. Um, Bolts, hello. Hi, Bolts. You all right, man? How are you keeping? Okay, so that is Fusion Saga done. That was a lot harder than I remember. And if you remember, if you any of you were here at the beginning of my video, you'd have seen the last time I actually cleared this. If you had, didn't see, go back and have a look at uh, on the VOD at the end of it. Um, we had like a Weirus in the team and we had Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as the lead. Like that was how long ago I last beat this stage. Like I don't even know how I managed to beat it. Um, Paragon Till Death, Hey Bolts, Dog Help Desk, oh yeah she is. The one from the Broly movie counts as Boo Saga. Oh does it? Oh fair play. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought that, but I suppose they've done a lot of those, because even like the GoBros, they're classed as movie heroes and Boo Saga. Um, Bolts, how's everyone's day going? We're going pretty good, to be honest, man. How's yours going? You know, just casually doing some why did the chicken cross the road jokes and all that. Um, doing Super Battle Road, gotta love it, haven't done it in a while. We are on to Shadow Dragon Saga, so when was the last time I did this? Is there anything but... Yeah, so this is... The, I, the last time I did this, I had Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on the team. Like, this... This should be quite easy. Like, there's no Super Saiyan 4 Easy A's or anything like that on this team. So this this should be quite an easy run-through if I've managed to do it with that team before. So, it's no-brainer as to who the lead is going to be. It has to be Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. We'll bring the Easy A, or can't bring the Easy A Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's not on that team, is he? Um, we'll bring Oceanus if we want a little bit of sweat, if we want some um, steel, uh, seals and stuns. We'll go for the Super Saiyan 4s. And I think are you a giant 8 power? No. Uh, yeah, we'll go for SDR Shenron. We'll give the other team a bit of a debuff. Um, not going to change the items. Not going to worry about the support memory. Um, we'll go in with this team. And we'll see what we do. Hopefully, we'll see a lot of Gogeta dodges in this, this fight. Um, Skulking Skulls probably used a lot of items. Yeah, I guarantee it would have been like loads of attempts. Used loads of items to literally just about scrape through by the skin of my teeth. Um, yeah, good man. That's in response to Bolts. Uh, Skulking Skulls, okay, well, you can change the team a lot. Yes, I can change the team a lot. I'm, I, as I say, I'm quite looking forward to this. We'll leave Gogeta in slot one there. I'll pop an Icarus just in case, because I'm not sure how much damage we'll be taking. But I'm expecting to see a dodge animation somewhere along the lines here. Um, we'll probably keep a mega on rotation although i do like the oceanus 
No, we'll keep Shenra on there. He links a bit better. Um, we'll just keep focusing on, focusing on the tech unit there just to make sure he's dead. And we'll go for a stun on just one of the other Shadow Dragon Saga units. Um, okay, well, you can change team a lot. Yeah, I have. Uh, Bolt's great lol. Just link grinding on the side tonight. Ah, oh, mate, link grinding. I'm horrendous at link grinding. It doesn't interest me in the slightest, but I know that I need to to, to have good units. It's uh, that catch-22. I want to do it to have good units, but I don't want to do it because it takes ages. Uh, three Bagger Man, want to become famous, buy followers, primes, and viewers on bigfollows.com. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't want to be famous in the slightest. I get anxiety at the best of times anyway. No way. Depends what I'm famous for, I suppose. Uh, Skulking Skulls, yeah, STR. Uh, Omega's an SBR solid unit. Yeah, he's so good, isn't he? The way he debuffs everything. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a must-be. Bolts, I want to become famous, JK, JK. Exactly the same as me. Do not want to become Jason, uh, famous at all. Uh, Skulking Skulls, they don't do too much. Paragon till death, nice. Same here, but it's such a ball lake. Does anyone like link grinding? Um, their debuff from Omega. Counter. Yeah. <laughs> it's whenever you see that little screen freeze, you're like, oh, I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> We've actually done quite a good bit of spread out damage here. Um, again, well, I think I prefer Easy A Vegeta to the super, uh, LR go, uh, Vegeta. We'll go like this because I know that we're going to be fine in slot one. Gogeta will we'll, we'll still focus on the AGL unit just to make sure that he's dead, I think. Gogeta will be super effective against all types anyway. Um, so even if Vegeta kills the AGL unit, Gogeta will just automatically go to the physical enemy. So I'm fine with that. And Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, well, we'll have type advantage on that physical enemy as well. See if we can get some more. We, we'll have to keep like a count in chat just to see how many dodges we get in this run. Um, screen freeze, Skulking Skulls, AGL Oceana's just supered for double digits. Yeah, it's nothing, is it? Uh, counter two, counter three. Uh, Int Gogeta just countered three times. Like, but he got hit twice in the first, in the first fight. Like, yeah, he's making up for earlier, exactly my words. But he's so good, isn't he? Like, Especially in Super Battle Road, like this Gogeta, I think, is arguably one of the best um, Super Battle Road units, just because of the dodge, 70% chance to dodge and counter super attacks. And as long as he's not getting normaled for massive amounts of damage, like if you can get him normaled after he's supered, after he's got that greatly raised defense, um, Gogeta's just not taking much damage. Let's see if we can get a bit more here. Honestly, I'm liking having Shenron on rotation. I think Goku would link better. But I'm liking having Shenron often on rotation to be debuffing the enemy. So I'll probably keep Shenron around, to be honest. Um, Bolt, what's your FC? Is that football club? I'm assuming that means football club. Um, don't even get me started on football. I could talk about it all day. Um, if you're talking football club, mine is Ipswich Town. We aren't very good. Um, but, you know, you support who you support. Who do you support? Uh, uh, yeah, who do you support, Bolts? Uh, Paragon, so annoying. STR Super Saiyan 4, Goku isn't on Shadow Dragon Saga. Yeah, it's so annoying. But this team would be completely OP if it was. Uh, I don't think even think the... Um, I, I know that the Int Vegeta, the Int GT Vegeta isn't on this team, but I don't think the physical Super Saiyan Goku, like the good one, the Orb Changer, he's not on this team either, is he? So, we've got... A couple of attacks, so we've got three attacks coming in there. So we're on a counter of three for super attack dodges here by Gogeta. Let's see how many we can get now. Uh, see if it goes up at all. Let's do this. Again, I'm not too worried about taking much damage. Uh, even if Vegeta gets super, he's still got a chance of getting out of it. Um, I'll pop an Icarus just in case. Just in case tech, um, tech Nova super attacks Vegeta and we don't dodge it. I don't want to get stitched up. And we'll go for a seal and stun on the uh, on the eyes, Shinron. 
Oh, I've, I thought I was on. I thought I was on the wrong one. I've missed the super attack. Ah, oh, never mind. Um, skulking skulls. Yeah, he's from the Super Seventeen saga. Yeah, that that just whenever you can have that easy a Goku and Vegeta on rotation, that team, whoever it is, just looks good. Like they put up such good numbers. They can take a little bit of damage if. Like depending on like if you're on like the last couple of stages of the GT Goku event, they can take a bit of damage from uh, from normal attacks. But otherwise, they're just putting up so much damage. Uh, with the previous Shadow Dragon Saga team, it looks like you did this around year four. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's so long. Like, I'm actually so glad I'm doing this series just in general because it's just interesting to see like what old teams I would have used. And then how much better they've gotten since they initially came out. I just I just really enjoy doing it. But at least it's not as bad as the Fusion Saga team. Like my Shadow Dragon Saga, aside from maybe a couple of units, wasn't horrendous. Like you've got the LR Super Saiyan 4, so they still would have been quite good back then. But like the Fusion Saga and bringing on a Weirus, like that was how low I was having to go in my box. I had to bring the physical Weirus. <laughs> One super attack. Like, hey, what's going on here? No dodge. Right. But he got only got supered for double digits. I know we've got the Icarus active, but um, I'll certainly take that. Um, this also just makes me itch for new Super Battle Road stages. Dog help desk. I completely get that, man. I think we're all, all of us in the community are just craving new difficult content. And it scratched the itch for a bit when we had, um, during the 350 million download celebration, we had that um, Freezer Soldier event where you had to try and beat all the Freezer Soldiers. I quite enjoyed that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, definitely itching for the new SBR stages. Out of curiosity, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, who is, which stages are they coming? Uh, Skulking Skulls, aren't we getting new SBR stages or is it ESBR? No, it's new Super Battle Road because we're getting a new LR coming with it as well. Um, it's uh, the LR Trunks. I think it's, is it just Trunks or is it Trunks and Bulma? Um, <laughs> Skulking Skulls, yeah, two years later you can be like, I used use this str omega <laughs> yeah two years down the line i'll be like i used this unit and it's still working um dog help desk sbr stages was supposed to have come with gohan and new esbr stages should be coming with gogeta yes yeah, so it's yeah i think that is i think um dog is right there it's the sbr stages we're gonna get now and then it's esbr with we should at least be getting with the um, with the next celebration. I don't know if they'll move that though because we're getting SBR and ESBR within a short space of time. Hopefully not because if you're anything like me, I'll, I'll just keep smashing the content until I've got it all done. Paragon till death. Drive by trunks. Yeah, that's the trunks that comes out with the SBR stages. That's the one. And let's pop this beautiful active skill again. I just love all, everything to do with this Gogeta's animations. It just looks so good. We'll get a decent heal here. Um, I'm really not fussed about us taking too much damage here either. Looks like we're setting up quite nicely for, for a Doken attack soon as well. Maybe SBR will come with Goku Stroke Piccolo. Yeah, that's my thinking. I was hoping it would come out at the beginning of the Gohan celebration. But when it wasn't there, I was like, it has to come part two, surely. Like, there's no reason for them to delay it, really, is there? Dog, I hope so. Paragon till death. I hope you guys are right. Would be well up for the grind. Yeah, well, we, let's face it. Everyone loves new content. Um, like, I, I like it when things like um, new new categories to beat the Goku event come up. Um, I love trying to beat them with harder teams or newer teams. As Don't even talk to me about Corroded Body and Mind, though. I still can't get that mission done for the life of me. Um... But yeah, we all love new content, don't we? Okay, so I'm probably happy with this. I'm going to go for the Tech Nova. Let's try and get him out of here. So, Because I reckon he could be a threat to like my AGL Vegeta and uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So let's get him out of there. 
Um, we'll use another Whis again just to make sure we aren't getting absolutely splattered by a super attack if we don't dodge. And next turn we'll be getting a Doken attack as well. No dodge? No. <laughs> he used up all his dodge encounters early on. What, he dodged three in one turn and then hasn't dodged since. <laughs> um, Skulking Skulls, I forgot Goku and Piccolo existed until like five minutes ago. Yeah, man, they, they, from what I remember of them, they looked pretty good. They weren't amazing turn one, but they built up reasonably quick. But what hurts them is like links and categories, where it's a Saiyan and a, Me and a Namekian unit. You're not going to use them too often, which is a shame, because they're a really good unit. Uh, Paragon Till Death, Skulking Skulls. The OST is hype, but that's about it. Happily skip them to get Gogeta. Yeah, like, I would happily skip these guys uh, and just focus on Gogeta. I'll probably do one or two summons. I'll have a quick look at the unit and do, do all that kind of stuff. But otherwise, again, I'm not too fussed about him. Um... I'll float Shenron off now, because I don't think he's going to come back on rotation. For the Doken attack here, I want Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 uh, Goku linked up, just so that we're getting the most out of this Doken attack. We've still got a turn 2 of Whis active as well. So, we should be gone. Right, I'm actually going to pay attention to this, take my eyes off chat for a couple seconds, and just make sure I nail this Doken attack. Nailed it. <laughs> I normally miss one, so I literally had to concentrate so hard to try and get that. Um, Skulking Skulls, you agree that you'd skip um, Goku and Piccolo if it meant to get Gogeta? Yeah. Uh, the Gogeta just has to be uh, a must-be summon, isn't he? Uh, isn't his, um, is his new category, is that the time limit team? Bro, he's tired. Give him a break. Give Omega Shenron a break. Yeah, he did his bit. He did his bit by doing debuffs. Um, we're not going to. I don't think we're going to get past the next turn anyway. So I'm I'm happy with his performance. Um, I don't even think he's really taken any damage either. So he's only been good. He, I think he massively lowers defense as well. So he is making it easier for us to do a lot of damage to the rest of the team. And for the last turn, we'll go for a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta active skill. Uh, Skulking Skulls, to be honest, that Universal Spirit Bomb Goku should be part of an LRGT Goku. Maybe a Super Saiyan 4 Goku with an active skill. Um, with just a Super HD animation of the Universal Spirit Bomb. I'd agree, that would be an absolutely sick unit, wouldn't it? Like, there's so many good animations in GT that they can go for. That would be one of them. Because I think you do have a kid, Goku, doing that. It's um the Int one. And it, it looks alright, to be fair. But it's not as epic a moment as it deserves to be. Uh, so I completely agree that that would be sick animations. Skulking Skulls, time limit. Yes, and Paragon Till Death, time limit. So that's going to be quite a good team, isn't it? Because it's going to have all the fusion, all the Patara... Blam! Sorry, I had to admire the uh, Gogeta, <laughs> the Gogeta counter impact. So what? In this, in this, uh, in this fight, he's been what? Four counters, two misses. Not, not bad odds, is it? Um, the Gogeta is tired from dodging. I meant. Oh, <laughs> Gogeta. Yeah, his legs are failing him. He's been doing so much dodging. And there we go. Could have finished it on a Gogeta KO screen, but we finished it on the Vegeta. It's not the end of the world. That's just me being picky. But yeah, that is Shadow Dragon Saga done as well. I'm really happy with that. Let's have a bit of a sneak peek at what's to come. So I'll probably end the video here. We've, we've done the two stages, but I'm curious as to see what's coming up and what teams I've used and just see how old they are. Peppy Gals, oh dear. And hybrid sets. So Peppy Gals are going to be interesting. Um, let's go have a look. So. <laughs> this was my last Peppy Gals team. <laughs> like there's a lot to be desired here. Like yeah I've got Kale and Khalifla, um, 
but I, I reckon there's definitely some better units I've got since then. Like I've got Launch and there'll be Ribrians and stuff like that. Um, Skulking Skulls, like him rising from the crater, holding the spirit bomb, having the Kid Goku voice. Oh, I'd love that animation. It would be such a good animation, man. I'm 100% with you. From that same fight, I still I still reckon it's coming, and it has to at some point. But it has to be a Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta that fuse into Gogeta. Like, you really can't get much hyper than that. It has to be coming at some point. And they haven't really, like, even got a transforming Sin or Omega. So it just makes sense to have that at some point. Uh, Paragon to Death Bandai need to hire you at Skulking Skulls. That sounds sick. Yeah, they did, man. They do, man. It's a great idea. Like, definitely be a hype celebration. Skulking Skulls, an unawakened tech buller. Yeah, like, I, the, when these stages came out, I would have probably been quite new to the game. Because I only started playing just before four year. So uh, these stages would have been newly out when I first started playing. So I would have had literally had to fight to beat every stage. Let's have a look at Hybrid Saiyans. See how bad this looks. I don't think this is going to be too bad. I reckon this would be like Goku, uh, Gohan and Goten. So, I mean, that's not the worst actually looking at the team now. Who's had easy A's since... Um, but definitely, uh, <laughs> STR Ultimate Gohan would not be making the grade if we were to, in the next video when we do it. Uh, he will be out of it. Um, I don't think Int Trunks will be on there either, or STR Goten. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of there's going to be a lot of ground to make up when we go through these stages. But I'll save that for the next video. At least you guys have had a bit of a sneak peek at what's coming. Um, for those that have just started tuning in, we've. Uh, as part of this video, we've gone back, we've completed the Fusions SBR, and we've also completed the Shadow Dragon SBR. Um, really happy with what we've seen from the teams. Um, Skulking Skulls, they already gave us a Gogeta this year, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. Yeah, I, and I don't think it would just be a standard Dokken Vest. For something like a, tr a transforming Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, that would have to be an anniversary or download, I think. So they haven't leaked really what's going on in JP for anniversary. So I'd be, I'm really interested to see what's coming there. Uh, Skulking Skulls. One of my suggestions was a Phi Goku and Vegeta Super Saiyan 4 as a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and then a Tech Sin into Omega. Yes. So I particularly like you've gone Tech there for, um, for Sin because Extreme Tech needs all the help it can get. So you've done a, you've done a great job there with your team selection and kind of your type selection uh skulking skulls that's the typings i'd like them to be yep yeah, 100 i i 100 agree there as long as it's not more agl and int units because we've what had agl and int units for anniversary and agl and int units for 350 million so i haven't got the kai's anymore for agl and int give us some fine tech i've got loads of those um bolts you race viewers uh, what do you mean by that? Sorry, man. Um, <laughs> what do you mean by you race viewers? I'm probably missing something. I've only been doing this for a week or so, so forgive me. Forgive my ignorance. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll hang around and keep talking for a bit. Um, I'll do a little bit of link levelling while we carry on chatting. Because we all know that in this group chat, we, we love a bit of link level, don't we? Like Boss Russ Racing or Legendary Goku event. I, I'm, I'm definitely up for doing that. We'd have to set up a time to do it. So, yeah. I, I'd definitely be up for doing something like that. It's something I do like amongst our friendship group anyway. So, I, I do love like, oh, who can get the best time doing these stages and things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, we can definitely put something in the diary. I'll probably next be streaming on Wednesday. So, I'm trying to think what my Wednesday looks like. If you guys are about, if you go Wednesday, UK time, 5 o'clock. And what we'll do is we'll race the OG, original, legendary Goku event. Just to make sure that everyone can do it. How does that sound to everyone? Sorry if you like American time and stuff like that. I can only really go by my time. Um, but yeah, 5pm UK time. And we'll all... We'll all join in and we'll all try and go through the legendary Goku event and we'll start at the same time whoever gets the quickest time wins 
How's that sound, everyone? Also, the main reason why I picked tech and physical is because of tech Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and Fire Mega Shenron. It's got depth. And it means that they'll all link together pretty well as well. So if you've got tech Super Saiyan 4, Goku, uh, Gogeta, linking with like the tech Super, Super Gogeta, that's going to link so good. It'll be a hell of a rotation. It'd be good for like... Um, um, extreme super battle road for like the type um, the type stage so yeah it's a really good idea there man uh, Paragon till death <laughs> uh, Skulking Skulls yeah they'll easy a probably in that celebration um, oh, they'll uh, easy a probably in that celebration who are you talking about easy a in there the um, physical Amen uh, Omega and the tech super saiyan 4 Gogeta they need it like, they really do need the help, don't they? I, they, they there has to be another more GT content coming soon, because there's just so much that they do. Um, Paragon till death. You've got to pick a category for us all to use. Try and keep it fairly level playing field. All right. Chuck, chuck me out some recommendations for a team we all have to use. Any category. Um, if anyone says Namekians, they're getting banned. Uh, Skulking Skulls, Physical Omega Part 1, Tech Gogeta Part 2, and then a free-to-play LR Part 3. That would be pretty cool as well, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to think who a free-to-play LR would be from that fight. I think you could even like try and squeeze in a Bulma there as well, can't you? Because it's Bulma and her Blitzwave Cannon that transforms the Vegeta into a Super Saiyan 4. So that you've got that animation to try and squeeze in as well. Um, Bolts. Might be kind of challenging because I'm free to play, but I can do it. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, Bolts. Because you're free to play, you choose the team. Choose a team that you know you can get it done with. And I'm assuming the rest of us have probably spent some stones in our time. So we should be able to do it with most teams. Bolts, you choose the team, and we will all try and do it. Skulking Skulls, Space Travelling Warriors. That's actually a really good shout um, if you've got the team. So I'm, I'm assuming that people have got like Cooler because he, he's not a Space Travelling Warriors lead, but he leads enough units that are on there because I don't have the Bojack either. Um, free to play only Peppy Gals joke, don't ban me. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ban you for Peppy Gals. It's better than Namekians. Um, Bolts, Movie Heroes. Yeah, are you happy that you can get it done with a movie hero, Team Bolts? Is everyone else in agreement for for movie heroes? Or Terrifying Conqueror's Transformation Boost? I, I'm a personal fan of the cooler, so I'm, I'm happy to do either movie heroes or, terif or, or the cooler team. Um, but then I'm also happy with Space Travelling Warriors. All right, screw it. Everyone's got cooler. We'll, we'll make it a cooler team. So, or Space Travelling Warriors, rather. So the cooler sits on space traveling warriors, so you can use the Bojack or the cooler as the lead. Do it Wednesday, 5 p.m. UK time. Everyone tune in. We'll all come back on the channel. You can see me live go through it. We'll make sure to start it um, all at the same time. And whoever, it's like bingo, whoever wins it first, put it in the chat and we'll see who wins. Cooler can solo the event. Yeah, agreed. Especially if you've got him and a friend cooler as well. Um, they just have, they just absolutely shred, don't they? As soon as they transform, it's just crits everywhere. Like, you get a crit, and you get a crit, and you get a crit. Um, but yeah, everyone happy with that? Doing Space Travelling Warriors team? That was a great idea there, Skulking Skulls. On or post time in Discord with a screenshot. The leader pick is difficult, but I was thinking Fusion, Final Trump Card, and Shadow Dragon Saga, full power. No new categories. Um, so that would be STR Gogeta, or the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Mm, I think we'll, we'll keep it basic. We'll keep it with like a Space Traveling Warriors theme. So everyone's going to have enough units there to do that. Everyone's going to have like the coolers and a load of freezers that will fit on the team. So everyone's going to be able to do kind of a different 
different mix up of that. Um, if everyone's cool with that. Um, Bolt or post time in Discord with a screenshot. I haven't actually got a Discord set up or anything like that yet, so it would be just on Twitch for now. Um, I'll try and I'll have a look into it this afternoon, and I'll be streaming again probably about five o'clock again this evening as well. So I'll have a look into it this afternoon, and I'll see if I can get if I can figure out Discord and how to set it all up that way. Uh, Paragon to death. I think he meant the units he's designing. Oh, I see what you mean. I struggle to keep track of multiple conversations. Um, so, a fusion final trump card for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and a Shadow Dragon Saga slash full power for the for the Shenron. Is that is that what you're, I'm picking up there? Do you reckon they'd introduce new categories at all, though? So, right, what new category could an, an Omega Shenron introduce, for example? Probably, so for the new categories. So, I'm trying to think of who, what you'd have, really. It's a tough one. It's because there's so many categories already in the game. It's hard to think of new ones. I don't know how they do it. It's probably how they end up with all these kind of weird teams that don't mean anything. Sin Omega could be on Exploding Rage. Because he was getting pissed off with Kojits. Yeah, I could see that, to be fair. It could, it could be an Exploding Rage lead. Um, I, I definitely think it'd stay full power, though, because he's... Um, that's a team that really is in desperate need of a new leader as well, isn't it? To be fair, a lot of the older categories are, like Exploding Rage needs one. Um, yeah, no, fair. Five Beerus is still crazy, so yeah, Beerus is really good. I just, I find that I never use him. Like, if I'm using like a, a Realm of Gods lead, for example, I'm using UI Goku nine times out of ten. Uh, Bolts, I can literally use Team Bardock for Space Travelling Warriors, lol. Is that it? Okay, well, screw... Right, we'll just do... Cooler, then. So, transformation boost, whoever you want to use. Space... Um, transformation boost or... Um, terrifying Conquerors. Everyone should have Cooler at this point. He's been out for so long. How's that sound? Everyone should be able to do it. Can't use Ginyu Force Space Travelling Warriors. <laughs> I haven't actually tried it. Can the can the Easy Aid Ginyu Force team actually beat the Goku event? I might try that this afternoon. You know, you've given me an idea there, Skulking Skulls. I'll try that this afternoon at the five o'clock stream. Um, Bolt. No, I have some Easy A's and other units for that as well. Do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. I think that'll be quite a cool video to try. Um, we'll, we'll try Ginyu Saga, Ginyu Force. I'm not confident that it will be done. Like, I can just imagine Goldo getting supered for, like, 800k against UI Goku or something stupid like that. Um, but we'll give it a go. I reckon it'd be quite fun. Fun to see. Uh, you haven't easy aid them. The Ginyu Force. Uh, definitely get on and do that, man. It's all free to play. The only hard thing, maybe, is, um... Getting them up to SA15 free to play. You just have to hope that you get the medals in the Bubba Shop. But definitely worth doing. And even if you just get them easy aid, but to SA10 only. Um, they're real buffs. So like when I was even going through like um, the type Super Battle Road stages in some of my earlier videos, I think I used a Ginyu Force member on all of the extreme stages. I think the only one I didn't use was like Berta or something like that. But other than that, they were all used. So they are really good units outside of just being on the Ginyu Force team. So if you haven't done it, I definitely recommend trying to get them done. Anyway, guys, I'm probably going to call it there. Um, I've done this on my lunch break, so I need to get back to work. As much fun as I'm having. Um, but yeah, uh, as I say, I'm, I'll be on tonight, maybe about five o'clock-ish. And then on Wednesday, we'll all ch if you guys are about as well, Wednesday, 5 p.m. UK time. We'll jump on, we'll do um, an OG Goku event race, see who can do it 
the fastest, and it has to be using a cooler team. So Transformation Boost or Terrifying Conquerors. Hope that sounds good to everyone. Um, but yeah, I'm going to jump off. I'm going to call the stream here. Um, Bolts, I think it was my first time talking to you, man. So good to see you. Skulking Skulls, uh, second time talking to you. So it's great to see you coming back to the channel. Um, let's talk about this quickly for Skulking Skulls. My active skill ideas. Bluff, Kami Hummy Hummy R. Attack and defense plus 20%. Guards all attacks and foresees enemy super attack for one turn. I don't know what to fucking call for this for Omega. Attack and defense plus 20%. Super effective against all types and foresees enemy super attacks for one turn. Would you not have them stacking or anything like that? Um, or you could... You could have it like Sh Shadow Dragon Rage or something as the, as the name. Um... No, that, that's pretty cool ideas, though. Pretty cool ideas. Um, I like that super effective against all types. I don't think you've got an extreme class enemy that's super effective against all types. And no, they'd be greatly raises on their super. Yeah, so you, you definitely need to have the greatly raised super attack. Those un units that have that are, are really good. Um, it makes them a lot more beneficial. Maybe not as slot one units, but in slot two or three, they tend to be uh, really strong units. Um, anyway, I'd love to keep ch chatting Skulk and Skulls. I need to get off. <laughs> um, but yeah, chat, you've been great. Um, I'll catch you all in the next video. If it's your first time, as I say, like, follow, subscribe. Name's Barber Town. I've got a YouTube channel with the same name. Um, catch me on there. Um, if not, I'll be on later on today, and I'll be back on on Wednesday. All right, guys? Have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.